What's happening guys? Kenny here again and today I've got another on my mind video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about pocket clips and specifically Pair 3 pocket clips. Spyderco pocket clips. Um, this is the Pair 3 um, and I do have a PM2 that I'll be talking about a little bit. Uh, the, the pocket clips for these are, in ex uh, are exchangeable and you can use them on either one. So anything I'm talking about in the pair three would pretty much, um, you know, correlate with anything with the PM2. And what I'm going to talk about is the different clips that you can get, the dip the clip that comes with the knife. Um, I know that a lot of people give this knife a lot of slack for flack, whatever, <laughs> for how high it sits in the pocket. And um, I didn't love that at first. When I first was looking at the knife, I was like, oh man, that's that's an eyesore, that's pretty bad. Um, so I ended up getting an MXG clip uh, for this knife. This was my first pair of three. You guys well know um, if you watch my videos before. Uh, and this is an MXG aftermarket clip that was uh, regular titanium, um, raw titanium, and I went ahead and anodized it, uh, this like toxic green. It's not really coming through that well right now. But yeah, this is this was a great clip and it's you know, I got it right away when I bought this knife because I at the time I was really kind of focused on deep carry. Before I got so into knives, I really was worried about people seeing my knife for one. Also, um I just for some reason as a kid I always thought uh deep carry was the way to go. Even though now I, I it doesn't really bother me that much. I, I don't really care how much it knife sticks out of my pocket. Um, it, that's fine. As It's all about function for me now. If the ergonomics work better with the clip and where it is, I, I keep it where it is. Whatever, Whatever's better is where I keep it. So that's what I've been doing lately. More about function over like someone actually seeing my knife or not. Now, what I'll say then is the Spyderco pocket clip this is their regular Spyderco pocket clip. It comes on a lot of models. It is a spring clip. Functionally, um, going in and out of the pocket, this works very well. Has a nice ramp in the front, stays pretty high. Has a nice ramp in the back, um, and plenty of clearance. Functionally, going in and out of the pocket, this actually works very well. Um, and in this configuration, you also have a flat at the back side of the handle. This is what uh, Sal and Eric were thinking is you have a flat here. So when you grip the knife, you, the palm, the back side of your palm is on a flat. And it, 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 it does feel good in hand in that sense. In the Sabre grip, this, this um, clip feels great. Your hand sits flush against the knife. Uh, it, it really does disappear. Now, uh, another positive thing I found about this clip is when I carry this knife, a lot of times I'll carry it as a, a secondary um, and I'll have a larger knife with me, like a military for instance. And this guy is going to be in my fifth pocket. I'll go ahead and bring the camera down. You guys can see this goes, this goes nicely in the fifth pocket. And with this clip, it does sit right at the top of the clip. It fits very nicely in that fifth pocket, works very well. And then I can always get another knife, like the 0562, and next to it. So it leaves plenty of room. It, it works very nicely. If I have a deep carry, if you see, if I put this in, the deep carry doesn't quite, it's not going to quite sit all the way to the top of the clip, which it, it, it's not that big of a deal. You can see it's, we got about a, maybe a three-eighths of an inch on top of the clip. So yeah, so it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely something. It's not gonna fall out of my pocket because these clips are very have good retention. But it, it is something, you know, it's something to think about. So that's one thing I did like about, about this clip is that, oops, sorry guys, is that it does sit nicely in the fifth pocket. But on the other hand, guys, I know it's a lot sticking out. Now, it doesn't bother me necessarily, but what I will say is this clip in a saber grip is excellent. Now, as soon as I go into a hammer grip on this, because I carried this with this clip and also my, um, well, actually, I didn't really carry that one too much. 
Um, so what I noticed with this, with this clip is if you go into a hammer grip, this, this does poke in this part of your hand. So that's where this stock clip lost for me. Um, and even in, even if you choke up in a hammer grip or in a saber choked up, it, it, that does poke you in that palm. So that's where this clip fails for me, not in the function or the, the, the depth of the carry, but in the actual ergonomics, this, this clip kind of fails for me. And I think it's because of placement. If it was up here, that would not, it would, it would catch me more here in the palm instead of here. So it would be further back. And I think it would not be as, as prevalent. So that's definitely something that made me not love this clip. I carried this for a while with the stock clip just to see like, because I know I changed this one so quickly. I wanted to see how the stock clip felt on the pair three. Um, I also did that with the PM2. The stock clip on the PM2 does not bother me, um, to be perfectly frank. Um, I don't really notice it as much as on the, on the pair of three. Although I don't carry the PM2 quite as much as I do the pair of three, so. Excuse me, guys, I'm like having some trouble here. Uh, I don't have my, my Lynch clip on my pair of three here. That's why I brought out the PM2, because this is a Lynch clip. As I, as I showed you guys, this is the, the MXG. The Lynch clip's a little longer, depending on which version you get. Um, it also has a, a softer retention, a, bit, a lot softer actually, you can see there. Um, the MXG is definitely a lot stiffer and thicker. I don't know how well this is going to come through. <sighs> Sorry about the lighting guys, but yeah, so... It's not really coming through, but the Lynch clip is thinner as well. So that definitely makes the retention a lot softer. And uh, I don't love the ramp, but it does work very well. It's very functional. And going in and out, clearance on this clip is very good. It's just a little thin, guys, and it, the retention is very soft. And they are lighter slightly lighter, believe it or not. These do make a difference in the, the weight of the knife. Uh, but that retention, I've heard a lot of people say that their Lynch clip like bent the first day they used it or something. So that's something to keep in mind. Lynch clip's gonna be a little thinner, softer retention. So if you don't like the retention of your MXG clip, go Lynch. Uh, that's one way to decide whether you want a Lynch or MXG. I also personally like the look of the MXG better. Um, this is kind of like you know, more sharp corners and stuff, and I don't really love this little knob. I like the MSG kind of fatty knob down there a lot better. Let me close the knife. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely, I like the looks of this a lot better, but that's a personal preference thing, guys. That's not necessarily uh, ergonomics or function. But the one thing I did notice about this, guys, when I got it was ergonomically, I loved this clip. I Loved the way the knife felt in my hand. Even though I didn't really have a lot of experience with the stock clip at that point, I did love the way this felt. And it kind of fills the back of the hand uh, by the pinky. It fills it nicely. And I did dig it. So this clip, when I started using this one and started feeling this hot spot, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like everyone talks about the hot spot off the deep carry, but I actually noticed this hot spot a lot more than I noticed this now the lynch clips pretty good i i don't notice this one either they, they do this very well as far as er ergonomically the lynch clips done very well but oh, okay let me don't i'm not going to lose my train of thought here what i want to talk about all, as well that point is is an er ergonomic disaster when i first got this knife this was um this is the Sprint, not Sprint, uh, the uh, exclusive Knife Center, uh, Para 3 with Smooth G10 uh, and Crewwear Steel. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong freaking side, yeah. So uh, Crewwear Steel, can't probably see it anyways. 
I love this knife. I love. I had the PM2 and I carried that a lot and I knew I loved Crewwear and I liked the knife. So I went ahead and got the Pair 3. But I wanted to wait and get a clip. I wanted to get a um, deep carry clip. Well, I just wanted to get the MXG clip. But I saw this clip online. I saw it on uh, eBay and I was like, you know, this is actually a pretty cool looking clip. Um, it was polished instead of, it was polished instead of uh, like that brushed, almost like, uh, oh, I don't even know what I would call that. Almost like a, oh, it's I guess stonewash type of look on the other one. But I figured because this knife has so much polished stuff, I figured this clip would uh, look pretty good being polished. And then I thought about it too, and I was like, oh, I could just take an MXG clip and polish it myself. But I went ahead and wanted to try something different because I had always tried MXG. So I was like, let me try, or MXG or Lynch. So let me try something else. Let me give a little guy a chance. I ordered the clip. About three weeks later, I was like, where's my clip? I haven't seen it. I haven't even seen a shipment notification. So I went ahead and looked on eBay and my purchases and I emailed the guy. He gets back, hey, uh, sorry, I, I did put it at the bottom of the description on my page that I'm 11 to 12 weeks out with everything. I'm or making these two order. I got slammed by orders and I couldn't get them out in time. Okay. Okay. I was okay with that. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I understand, man. I, I get it. I work at a small shop. We get inundated with orders sometimes and we get backed up and, you know, I get it. Dude, you need to specify that at the top of your page. It should have been in, it should have been in bold print when you're ordering it back ordered. This is not a product that's available now. This is a product that's back ordered. That's the definition of back ordered, man. Um, I can't believe it says available now. Now, I have a mind to like just, I, at that time I was like, man, I wanna give this guy a bad review. Um, I'm not a bad review type of guy. I really don't love it. I, and going on, and most bad reviews on, on sites, I think a lot of times they're just, a guy that's because I deal in customer service so I get these people that are like they're gonna complain no matter what it is no matter what and I feel like sometimes when you do complain you just sound like one of those guys anyways I, I know that doesn't make a lot of sense but I figured I'd give the guy a shot I'd also do a video in the end and give you guys this review so I went ahead and waited he said it's gonna be you know 11 12 weeks I waited 12 weeks later, still no, no, um, you know, no notification, nothing. I email the guy again. I say, Hey, I understand. You know, I, I get it. It's all good. What's, when's it coming? You know, can I, can I, I, I had been waiting to carry this knife, which I probably shouldn't know if I shouldn't have waited, but I was waiting. I was like, I'll wait for the clip. I have my PM two, no big deal. I went ahead and waited. I, I notified him, or I, I, I got in touch with him. I said, hey, what's going on with the clip? Oh, man, he, he gives me the whole explanation again about being back. I'm like, dude, you don't remember? You already talked to me? He's probably talking to 50 people a day because people are pissed. But I was like, dude, I already emailed you. You could have looked at the other email and seen that it, this is the same guy emailing you again. But he, he went ahead and explained the whole thing over again. And then he said, like, um, I'm backed up. Your order's... 17 days out, 17 days out. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll be patient. I'm a patient dude. Waited a month later. No, I got a notification that it shipped and I'm like, cool, it shipped. And then it just kept saying in the process, in the process for like weeks, it said in the process. So finally, I email him again and he's like, Oh, your order, oh, I'm sorry. He explains the whole thing over again about being inundated with orders. Then he says like, 
oh, I do that so that your, your, your shipment, um, so that it doesn't get lost in eBay because after a certain amount of time, it gets lost in eBay, almost like your order got finished already. And finally, the guy, um, he says like, oh, the, your order is going to get shipped like in a few days. I'm like, okay, cool. Another week goes by. The thing's still not coming. I'm just like, and I, I sent him one last email. I said, dude, if my, if my clip does not get here, this week, or it doesn't get shipped this week, you're getting a full on one star review, dude. I, I don't even care. And I'm not that type of guy. I really am not. And he's just like, it's on its way. I'm like, okay, fuck. Finally gets here. Guys, I waited over four months for this thing. Look at how beefy this clip is. It is so thick and rugged. I don't know how well this is gonna come through. I really, I can't get it to focus. It wants to focus on everything behind it. Yeah, it's not gonna do it for me. Maybe I'll flip the camera around. Flip the camera around and show you guys this on the other camera. Uh, Look how raw that is. He didn't even polish it. He must be like so backed up and look how thick that is compared to yeah, this is thick compared to like a lynch clip, for instance. The, the MXG's thick and actually a perfect amount of retention. Oh, I took this clip, I put it on, and also look how the MXG clip kind of swoops back. This one like sticks out. Look how short it is. When I put this clip on my, on my crew wear pair of three, it was so hard to get in and out of the pocket because of the retention. I had to bend it back. When I took it off, this thing was bent like down like here. I had to like bend it back all the way up. And I finally got it to where it felt like it could go in and out of the pocket relatively comfortable without like snapping back super hard. And luckily it was on this. If it was on a G10 like this, dude, it would have tore the hell out of my pocket in the like three times I put it in and out. Um, but on the smooth G10, it, it, it went in and out okay. But man, this retention was nuts. And just so you guys know, here's a guy's car. So if you're gonna order this and it's from Blades for Sale, I'm sorry, dude, it's bad. I won't deal with this again. I will not go back to this company. I'm sorry, man. He's even close. I think he's in like Palos Verdes which is like not that far from where I live. And honestly, awful guys. Um, the worksmanship was okay. And the polish looks okay, the brushed polish look. But what's that? Come on, dude. I mean, that's just rough. And on top of that, it's just, there's a lot of things that I would just say were just horribly done, man. It's just, uh, just, it just looks really clunky, really clunky. It looked way better in the picture. Um, you can see how narrow that gets at the back. That's why this is so comfortable, guys. It bends down. It's very broad across. And when that goes in the back side of your palm, it just disappears. It really does just disappear. I, I It gets in the fold right there, and, and I love the way it feels in hand. Uh, the Lynch as well. The Lynch does, uh, it stays very flat and it curves down. They get it. They know what fits in hand. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Sorry to tell you that, bro. It's just not done well. It sticks up high. It's narrow. It digs in at the back side of your hand. I kept it on there for about four days because I was like, man, when I, when I got it, I was like ready to just tell the guy no thank you and order mxg but i kind of tried to give it a shot and i went ahead and ordered mxg clips for this knife and this knife um because i gave this a good shot i gave it a, a, you can even see the wear on it um i wore it for a while i tried i went to the mxg i got a black coated one one thing i thought was weird is mxg didn't have black coated screws am i really gonna put those screws with that clip on this knife Hell no. I'm gonna use those those screws. But I do feel like they should have gave me 
a coated screw as well. If you got coated uh, clips. That's the one knock I'll have on MXG. Otherwise, I love their clip. Jeez, you can see my sweat. <laughs> I'm not even sweating that much. This thing does show that. It shows like moisture really clearly, cleanly. Yeah, but love it, guys. Love the MXG clip. I'm stoked on this on this knife with that clip. But you can see it does have that like stone wash look, which I would have preferred like if they had a polished look. But I could always polish this one and do it myself. But it's not bad. I do like the way it looks. And I'm stoked. Stoked to be able to carry this thing now. I mean, I carried it before, but... And then I'm stoked to put this on this one. And then these will all be set, ready to go. All my uh, pair of threes have deep carry good clips on them. My uh, Knife Center, I mean, my uh, Blade HQ exclusive pair of three has the Lynch clip on it that you saw me anodize in that video. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. That's my pocket clip rant. Uh, I'm gonna flip it back around and just- All right. I know this was kind of longer than it needed to be, but in conclusion, uh, I do not love the stock pair of three clip. Um, it, it's better on the PM2, it doesn't bother me as much, but on this one, it really does hit right where that that front finger choil is and it digs in it digs in on me but uh, i do like the way it carries and functionally going in and out of the pocket it's a great clip so i don't knock it on that so if the ergonomics don't bother you you really don't need to go into an aftermarket clip on the pair on the pair three unless you hate the the carry but other than that the mxg guys it's a great call great clip you know the company seems to be very well um put together as well so they have tons of options on their site that's actually this was the first time i ordered them from their site instead of going uh ebay or something like that so i got these two in one and the shipping was free great great um value so that's it guys uh thanks for watching thanks for all your subs your likes um i appreciate it have a great day